So, second to the last day of, of pitch drive, uh, we're at Station F, which is probably one of the biggest or the biggest uh, co working space uh, and, and the startup ecosystem in the world at the moment. Um, it's been a fantastic experience when you think about it. Um, I think it's easy to be part of a journey like this and a tour like this and you generally just look at it and conclude is one of those things you do as, um, as a startup, as, as a startup supporter or as anyone who is interested in business at all. But I think um, reflecting on everything that we've seen, everything that's happened, I think this is groundbreaking to be honest. Um, uh, the opportunity we've had to really put Africa out there, you know, show people across uh, the European continent what we're beginning to do and, you know, the role and the vision that we have for technology uh, in Africa, not just one country, the fact that there were about seven different countries represented, different perspectives as well uh, brought into the, into the mix. I think we also met a lot of people who probably haven't had a chance to interact with anyone from, from within the tech space in Africa for the first time. Uh, it's been a massive learning experience for me personally. I would like to think it's also been a massive learning experience for each of the participants as well. Um, I think more than anything, you know, people would like to know how much money we've raised. Um, we've done really well. I think the, the level of interest that we've seen from investors, you know, starting from the first day in London up until even uh, somewhat quiet uh, cities like Zurich, which, you know, by its own right is actually not that quiet. And now that we're in Paris, which I believe we're going to, you know, hand the tour on a, on a big note, I think the interest we've seen from investors has been really, really encouraging. Uh, one probably may say that, you, you know, it can be better, of course, but uh, at the same time, I think what we've seen is really encouraging. Almost all the businesses on, 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 on the tour um, has had one or two investors reach out to them, which I think is really, really good signal. Uh, of course, the hard work is now following through with all these opportunities. You know, um, for those who finally make it to even due diligence, I think that's where the hard work is going to be. And, and the exciting thing is that you know the growth capital by CCO, which um, which is fully represented on the tour as well uh, by Tundi, uh, will be looking after the startups. Uh, will be will be looking to help the startups to prepare for some of these conversations. Um, and hopefully that can increase their chances of being able to raise funding as well. I think above all, for me, um, the tour is going to shape the way we do our work, to be honest. It's going to shape the way we do our work. I expect a lot of good things to come out of it as well. We've made um, good friends in, in interesting places, uh, some, of, some of whom we're going to obviously keep in touch with and probably do exciting things with. Uh, but beyond that, I think the way we see technology as well, in my, my, my personal opinion, is probably also going to change. And obviously, that will affect the work I do as well and hopefully the team. Uh, at CCO. Uh, you know, technology clearly is one that, that shouldn't be seen from purely, say, we're building technology businesses that will, uh, that will generate revenue and create jobs. I think it's way much more than that. Uh, the way people are building technology from what we've seen around Europe is that it is about the future, uh, and that future is already being created. People are creating the future that we're all going to be part of. And the question we need to be asking ourselves is whether we just want to be part of that future that's being created for us. Or we want to be part of the process of co-creating that future and making sure that our perspective and voices are also I think it's, it's almost like, like human right thing because what's going to happen if you don't participate is that the gap is going to widen. People are going to create the future that we're essentially going to be forced to be part of, uh, which I think is not ideal. Uh, it's not ideal for any country in Africa. It's not ideal for the young people that will, that will come into the world. Uh, from our part of the world to witness. And it's not ideal for the world as well because what's going to happen at the end of the day is that the solutions that will be created will not be robust enough. And that's not necessarily the fault of the people creating the solution. It's partly our fault as well that we're not getting involved in the process of building that future that we all should be part of. So I'm really, really excited about that perspective. As much as we want to grow businesses that are sustainable, we also want to grow businesses that can contribute to the development of that future. And there's no conflict. I know a lot of people will talk about the fact that we still have a lot of issues to grapple with in Africa and you know, we need to focus on poverty. We can do that in a really sustainable way. I, I think that's the opportunity we have. The fact that we can be part of uh, this modern world, uh, but we can do it in such a way that we're actually using it as well to solve really, really serious issues on, on the continent.
I think that's important. And also it's important to how people invest in tech perceive companies as well. You know, these guys are not necessarily looking to invest in your business because you're gonna be making a profit of twenty five years, twenty five thousand US dollars every month. It's just not gonna be enough for VCs or or people at the level that we're talking about who invest in serious tech startups. Uh, they've got to see that you're able to scale. So scale is another thing that I've picked. As we grow these businesses, we need to think about scale. And the businesses we're growing are trying to create scale. Uh, can they scale to the level where they can create value for the society, but also create value for those that are putting their resources into it as well. Uh, I think that's, that's also pretty important. And, and in all that, how we build our ecosystem is key. Uh, the role of the different um, entities, different organizations, even the role of government as well, uh, in, in, in creating the ecosystem and the enabling environment that we want to see for people to actually be able to then build businesses is quite important. Uh, if we don't build our ecosystem, what's going to happen is that the people with talent, with expertise, uh, with uh, with ideas will not get the chance to be able to create. Uh, you know, they might have the motivation to do it, but if the enabling environment is not there, we're going to struggle. You know, in, in places like Zurich, for instance, one thing that jumped up to me is how much of um, how much the support coming from the strong ecosystem uh, is feeding into people's ability to start competitive businesses. So if you're competing with a business from a, a well-supported ecosystem, you're really at a disadvantage, to be honest, because no matter how creative you are, the starting point is totally different from yours. And, and the implication of that is you may just not be able to compete uh, fairly. Uh, and it's not their fault, really. You know, every environment should create that opportunity for their people to try, for their people to bring new ideas to, uh, to fall so that they can change the world for, it, for, for, for good, but also contribute to things like job creation, uh, while also bringing returns for those who are interested in it. Um, for me, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased to be honest. I'm happy that I've been part of this. I'm happy that, you know, I've been part of the tour. Uh, I'm happy that, you know, at the end of the day, I can look back at this and say, and say um, We've done well, we've done well to start. And it's the beginning of many, many more good things to come. Um, you know, I can beat my chest and say that it's the beginning of many, many more good things to come. We're not going to stop, um, we're, we're, we're going to keep pushing. And, you know, we can only hope for the best.